Yeah, I thought that was a um, very impressive win for for uh, for this team. Um, again, we're we're still in the process of learning how to win, play with each other, understand the system. Um, but we've kind of made a few changes and and uh, not changes so much X and O, but I just think that uh, the light switch is starting to go off. The most impressive part about this is um, when this this seems like close to scratching how good they can really be. They're still trying to figure it out. They're still thinking a little bit too much, but um, we got the young fellow over here finally off the last couple of games. He makes a world of difference. Even if he misses shots, it opens up the floor. And what you saw tonight, people are running in him, and now we open up the floor a little bit. So, um, good win. We beat a good team that played well tonight. They didn't play bad. We beat a good team that played well. And that's a, that, that, that's a, that's a testament to uh, that we must be pretty good. Questions? Um, it seems like Thomas has taken, Jeff has taken the same shots he was taking at the beginning of the season. Um, so, uh, yeah, I wish it was that simple. Um, but a lot of it is, is confidence. A lot of it is uh, um, uh, Worrying about what you got to do on the other end of the floor. That's why a lot of times you say a guy that can make shots, you want to make him play defense on the other end. There's a lot of stuff for this guy, and I've said before, it's really difficult. And I know, you know, we don't talk about it enough. It's difficult not only to not practice and not play for a year. That's tough to do. And he's just starting to get his legs under him a little bit, figure it out. Um, you know, he's a true freshman that, that we that, that not we that somebody took away from him last year. And so, um, but again, when he plays well, we, we're just we're, we're, we're pretty we're pretty good. Can you um, go through that, that foul at the end of the game? Number one is, is Isaiah Pate. And yeah. number two, who got to choose yeah. the shot free throw? Well, whenever uh, – whenever we get, to we, we, we get to choose a free throw. If the guy comes out and there's blood, they're showing. Uh, basically, that's the rule. You Basically, if there's blood, the official determines there's blood, or there's a major injury where he may not be able to return, then we can, we can do that. If they deem otherwise, then the other team chooses the, chooses the, uh, the free throw shooter. So, um, again, um, close play. I mean, they're not a dirty team at all. That wasn't a dirty play. The kid was trying to make a play. Um, my, my job's always to yell at the officials in the game, so <laughs> I'm going to try to do that. But uh, it was too bad. Their kid was out, too. But, uh, you know, he just tried to get a foul into the game and Isaiah is so athletic that that play is always going to look that way. Is he okay? Uh, he's going to be missing some teeth and so uh, we'll get him back. We'll, we uh, we got the Georgia State dental discount. We'll get him two teeth and uh, he'll be ready to go next week. <coughs> yeah, right. <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, could you talk about the, uh, you know, the first 10 minutes on the yeah. game was able to, to hit quite a few shots yeah. and some spots in his own. Yeah. And then it tightened up a little yeah. bit for the remaining 30 minutes. It's funny. I kind of worried about that because Jeff's a very good coach. And so, you know, I, I wonder what he was going to have for us. He had a week to prepare for us. And so, you have a week. I worry what he was going to do differently. And uh, he, he did some things differently. I won't say because I don't want other teams to do that. But he did some things differently. That, and then when we made the adjustments, you know, you've always asked me this question why we're a better second-half team. A lot of it is we want to see what, what people want to do against us. Then we can take it away. Um, the most impressive thing is I thought our three-point defense was unbelievable. Uh, they made one three tonight. And so that was really, really what we wanted to do. We wanted to take their three-point shooting away. We knew that they were great drivers and guards, but if we could take, a th take the three away from them, even early when they made shots, we took the three away. And then we made a few adjustments. And then uh, I thought the last 30 minutes, our defense was, if you take that 10 minutes away, our, our defense was outstanding tonight. And um – did y'all work on your free throw shooting a lot during this week? I don't know if that's because you're mostly yeah. you're no, it, we, we haven't done anything different than we normally do in, in regards to free throws. Free throws is, again, it's two things. It's A, who's shooting them. That's always the big thing. And then, two, it's just about, again, the, 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 this team that we had, we had four guys who didn't even – five guys didn't even play last year. And so it's really difficult. That's the part of the timing. Everybody thinks it's, it's free throw shooting, getting the rhythm, that you can't, you can't practice that. You can't get – your heartbeat goes so far, so fast in the game. You can't go – you can't get that in practice. So there's a lot of parts that go to that. We're just now starting to figure out what to do a little bit. The process of becoming a great team, and we talk about that every year that we're here. What's the process of becoming a great team? You don't want to do it too soon. You're going to peak too, so this team is just getting better every single day. And, and lastly, I assume that this is even more gratifying because you've got two solid games coming up yeah. and then play. Yeah. Starts to get really strong. Yeah. Yeah, uh, you probably know that better than I do. I, I, I'm more worried about the next one. Um, um, I, I was so concerned about Old Dominion because they're so well coached and they're a really good basketball team. Um, last year, remember, we went down there and we lost that game to them last year. And uh, we knew they had those guards back, the guards that beat us. We knew those guys were back. So, um, you know, we move on. This is, I think, we're in a Conference USA mode right now. We're trying to go, uh, trying to win it, trying to be over 500 in Conference USA. But uh, um, very good teams. We got, a, we got a Southern Miss team. We got to go on the road and play. That's what was good about the race day game. Now we have to learn. 
learn to win consecutive games on the road. That's the next mission with this group. So, Coach Hunter, what do you think was the biggest lesson your team learned tonight that they can apply to teams later on down the that Coach Hunter's right about everything. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Um, again, we're, we're just we're, we're learning. We're just learning how to play, and we're learning how to win. Um, we're really good in this building. And some of the young guys and the new guys have to understand what it means to be in this building. Our students are great here. This is a very difficult place to play. Everyone that comes in here says the same thing. Boy, you, you, it's hard to win at Georgia State. And so we want to continue that. We don't lose many games in this building. And we, we're a different team in here. Where there's no question. And so uh, we got sometimes take that on the road. But when you come in here, you know the crowd, the noise, the band, the cheerleaders, the, the students. I mean, it's a, this is a tough environment. And so our guys are understanding that, and they play to that. Um, did you buy 99 tickets in RJ1 or RJ99 at New Orleans? Well, um, um, RJ will receive the bill for these 100 tickets. Uh, <laughs> Uh, he actually sent me a text this morning. He, he did ask a question. He said, Dad, how many tickets am I buying? I said, don't worry about it. I, I, got, I got half of them. Now, RJ wasn't good at math here. So half for me. He doesn't understand. It's not 50-50. But, uh, uh, but we do. We, we hope that the, the students enjoy the, the game. Um, and I, wanna, I personally want to thank my son for, for, for doing that. Um, you know, he's a big Georgia State supporter. So I, I thank him for doing that. And we just uh, we do want to wish our football team. We'll be on the roll. We, we want to wish our football team luck. And we thanked him. We thanked you for being here. That was very impressive. Our guys really got behind that in the black shirts and those guys being there and cheering and getting on those guys. So um, we, we really, truly appreciate our football team. And uh, uh, I tell you what, it's, um, it, it's, it's great to be a Georgia State Panther. So how do you think your younger players and the new players are adapting to this environment and this new season? Yeah. Especially seeing you guys have yeah. players like your son and yeah. Ryan Green and Ryan yeah. Hero. How have they been adapting? Well, they, they're, they're figuring it out. I mean, a lot of them are here. They just didn't play last year, and so uh, um, you know it, it was funny. I was on, I was on the road recruiting at Jeremy Hollowell's high school, and I texted him. I said, "Man, I'm at your high school. It's a big time environment." He says, "Is it like the Georgia State, Georgia Southern environment?" So it just tells you again, our guys they 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 get that feel. Um, we have a great basketball program here. We have a great athletic program here, and the standards are high. Our guys understand that when you play for us, the standards are high. It's, it's for us. It's always about championships and postseason play. So they they they've got to get themselves to that level, to that standard. Um, you know, I felt very comfortable out there. You know, uh, I have the team behind me every time in practice. I miss a shot. They they come over and they help me up, and you know that really helped me. And uh, ex especially uh, both Isaiah's and Kevin, they got me open. And the screeners, TJ and Marcus, they're the ones that got me open to hit those shots that I can make. Did you feel any pressure because you know everyone was kind of comparing you to RJ in certain ways? At the beginning of the season, was that um, a little too much at the beginning? It was a lot of pressure because I was, I, you know, I didn't play in 18 months. But, uh, you know, I started, I kind of drift over to trying to be like RJ. But, you know, I have to be my own player at the end of the day. And uh, I feel like I'm starting to be my own player and I'm starting to find my own baskets now. How do you affect the offense in your opinion? Um, I can shoot. They they uh run out at me. You know, I get I can get other people open. Uh pretty much just helping other people get open. What is your personal hope for this season? What do you hope to get out to get out of this entire season? Um to get better. You know, uh you know, I uh I always want to get the best of my ability and this year I feel like me being young, I have a lot to learn and uh and also do better than last year's team. You know, last year's team they won, they beat Baylor, and we want to make it to the next level. We want to win that next game. Any other questions for Jeff?